Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. This time on Kim's Brute Awakening. You've got bugs in this house. Bugs, bugs, and more. Bugs. Oh, yikes. Will this family care enough to fix it? Kim, I'm quitting. Or will Kim and Mike call for extermination? This is a tough family, so you hold on. Give it a good smack. Ultimate queen of clean, Kim Woodburn and lifestyle expert Mike Chalou are on a serious mission. Their goal? To identify and confront messy and disorganized families and bring some sanity back into their lives and homes. This time, Kim and Mike take on the Ta family. Dad Cameron, an IT specialist, Mom Catherine, an English language instructor, and their two kids, 10-year-old Colbert and 8-year-old Christopher. Get up, come on, let's help. The state of my home is chaotic and it's so messy. Living like this is quite stressful. Mounds of junk, Hell's Own Kitchen, and piles of laundry all make the Taz unwanted guests feel right at home. Those guests? Bugs. Lots and lots of bugs. There is bugs, insects around the house, and that bothers me the most. Dad Cameron's solo effort to stay on top of the bugs and the mess is a losing battle. Get up and help. Come on. If I can wake up, I'll help you. I just uh, want to be relaxed and be lazy. I don't like to clean. Are you going to do the dishes tonight? No, I'm so tired, honey. Let's do it tomorrow. If my spouse or my family member is not taking initiative action, it actually makes me more angry. Absolutely no drawing again to any wall. I'm not that good at cleaning. And I'm lazy. I already start the other low. Come on. I'm tired, Cam. And much like his house, Cameron's marriage is becoming a disaster as well. Yes, I've seen them argue about the mess because they every time they get frustrated, they're like, oh, we can't find this, we can't find that. I need some help. I need I need a solution. I picture myself in a year or two in this messy house. I don't think I can take it. So he's called Kim and Mike for a rude awakening. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Good morning, Ta family. We hear your house is full of disgusting bugs. You have no floors. They're full of lawn and trash. Ooh. We're here to stamp out your bugs, clean up your house, and hopefully mend your relationship. This is your room. I'm confused. All right, let's go. Good morning. Good morning. Ta family. Yes. Welcome to our warm and cozy home. Some welcome this is, isn't it? Yes. Now, we walk in here before we even got through the door. This is dreadful. We're trying Jesus. to be ourselves. Your cells are untidy slobs. Is that what you want to be? Slobs. And this isn't normal. It's not normal. Kim, let's go see the rest of this house. Get, Get in. Okay, come on, Kim. words for you. I'm, 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 the way you're smart. Don't watch Kim, don't trip, time. darling. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look. Can you call this a kitchen? It may be a joke, but it's not a joke. This is dreadful. But their chronic untidiness is the least of their problems. You've got bugs in this house. Mm. You've got ants, you've got cockroaches. Have you any idea why you've got them? We are very clean. Are you happy to live in with all these bugs? No. You've got to be honest, if your dad's asked us to come, he must be quite sad at this, mustn't he? So you prepared to work with your dad and you. I can't do it. Why not? Just tell him. Yes, you do, Just tell no, 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 no. And this is He's affecting your relationship. This is affecting the relationship. Okay. He said, she said, oh boy. Now. Enough. Let's see the rest of this house. Right, come on. Okay. Let's go down here. What is going on this is down? Terrible. This is terrible. absolutely no, this appalling. Way, this, way. this is not a family room. What is this laundry oh, everywhere? How the... can any human being survive? Oh my no, gosh! This is so cozy. You can cozy? Just lie down and help well, yourself. Well, you know it's stopping, don't you? Because we have come here for a mission to get you all tidy. 
you have a vacuum buried in here too. You know, vacuum the clothes. Oh, we're vacuuming the insects. So you think it's fair for your children to crawl the floors to look for clothes? You this can is do the that. Half family, so. This is the Ta family. family. No, 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 no. Give me speaking. You know, you're not taking the situation seriously, and that worries me. I just confused. I, I don't want to do it. And the situation isn't much better in the so-called games room. This is supposed to be a games room? How, how are you supposed to play a game? Is this a ping pong table under there? Wouldn't you love, boys, <sighs> to bring your mates in to play ping pong? Yeah. Yeah. I had my friends over, but not a lot because were, my house was so dirty, so we had to go to their house. But you've got to help us tidy, give some stuff to charity, throw some stuff out, and we'll get the place lovely for you. Red Kim, can you do it for us and we can sit back and relax? Oh. Should I, you hold her, I'll give it a good smack! Ooh, yeah, no, don't, listen, listen. And I'm a gentle soul, I'm a gentle soul. I know, soul. I know, this is a disaster. Is nonsense. Enough is well, enough. You know Kim, ready? don't get upset, you know please. I don't want you to This is one of Kim and Mike's toughest assignments yet. They need to teach the Taws how to tackle their mountain of laundry, declutter the kitchen, get rid of the bugs, and get Catherine and the kids to finally help Cameron with all the work. There's no doubt in my mind that there's love in this family. I think so. But there's no communication. You do that relationship. I'm going to sort the bugs out in this house. Oh, disgusting creatures. Absolutely. And what else were you going to do? Well, I'm going to teach them to get all the muck off their walls. They've got crayon all over the place. <coughs> and generally sort... Get... <coughs> there's a, there's a, where, there's a where, bug! Where, there's a bug in my Get out of oh. your big sissy! Oh. First on Kim and Mike's list for the family, get the bugs out. I have seen bugs, and I don't like it. Uh, I don't even know how people can survive with it. The kids is complaining, Mom, like, I'm afraid. I said, it's OK. Just throw them outside. Kim and Mike have a close encounter of the creepy, crawly kind planned to scare Ma and Pa Ta straight. This is their wake-up call. You two are going to pay a price today, aren't you? Under all your washing, in your kitchen, cockroaches. Oh, yikes. No. <sighs> Please get fully clothed. You take this so lightly. It's no stuff, it's horrible. And we're concerned about your kids. <laughs> How could any human being survive? Oh, my no, gosh. Really? The Ta family live in a disaster zone. Their marriage is in a state of emergency. Get up and help. Come on. If I can wake up, I'll help you. And to top it all off, they have a bug problem of hazardous proportions. Are you happy to live in with all these bugs? No. But with their next lesson, the bug issue is about to get worse. It's time for you to pay the price. The Ta kids are tired of living with bugs, and with Kim and Mike's help, they'll show their parents how it feels to be so intimate with insects. Into the valley of death rode the 600. Come on, come on. I find this very romantic, actually. And they're lucky these bugs look a lot nastier than they actually are. To use the braves out of husband and wife. Close your mouth. Oh, get them on them. <laughs> oof, oof. <laughs> oof, oof. Right. Uh, Come on, now. Oh, no! Now stay still and close your mouth. Now there will be no more bugs crawling around your house anymore. These things that repulse you, so if you don't like them, don't have them anymore. All right. No, have you learned your lesson? Have you? Right. Yes. Right. I learned that we have to uh, seriously think of uh, cleaning the house. This is a good lesson. It's for us and for the kids too. Han, we have to do it. This is serious. No, it is extremely serious. And enough is enough. Bugs. Not nice. Not nice. Now that Catherine has had her wake-up call, Kim is going to give Ma Ta some tips for dealing with her six-legged squatters. Cockroaches. Cockroaches. Oh, I, I hate oh, that. I'll tell you why I've got a deep jar. You can use raisins. My favorite. Like feeding a chimp. Mm, now. Thanks, Mom. We break up the banana, and I'm going to smear it around here as well. Go smell it. And they'll climb in. Yes. In they drop. Munch, 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 munch. Yes. Okay. But, but now we don't want them to get out, do we? Yes. No. Right, so you take Vaseline. So, oh my God, when they get in here, they're wow. going to have a rude awakening, my dear. All dry, in they go. They'll fall over. Yes. Right. They might even get stuck halfway down. Who cares? Yes. They'll get down to the banana. How could those cockroaches get out of all that thick gump? And then when no. there's loads in there, do you yes. see? You put the top on. Yes. He, he, he. Here goes. In the bin. <laughs> Suckers. That's great. I learned a lot of new stuff. 
You know, I'm not just a pretty face, you know. Your big eyes scare me, Mum. That's it. <laughs> I'm going away. Leave me alone. Never think about that. It's that easy and it's the, the thing that you can get it from the store and it's, it's cheap. With Kim's bug trap in place and the bugs on the run, Cameron and Catherine turn to another sore spot, their communication skills. If this continues, I think maybe the family will break off and uh, the, the boys will have a broken family. Looks like Ma and Pa Ta need a serious relationship rescue. Morning, my two new beautiful students. Morning, sir. Welcome to Relationships 101. Do you love your husband? Yes. Do you love your wife? Yes, sir. Now, do you respect your husband? Not really. What do you mean you don't respect your husband? I don't think about his feelings. And how does that make you feel? Sad. Did you hear what he just said? Now, do you respect your wife? Yes, sir, I do. In order for your relationship to move forward, there's a key ingredient that is missing here, and this is what I think is the biggest problem in this household. The word is communication. Communication. Write that okay. down. I'm about to say that. You were about to say um, that. Oh, of course you were about to say that. This is going to be the Ta Family Communication Task Chart. Everyone's name is going to go in here. And then everyone in the same color as that name they're going to have the task and the chore they have to do on each day. I want you to do the basic things you need done in this house. Okay. Dishes, laundry. I need a maid. You so need a maid? You need a maid. You have to be a maid. OK. You have oh, to be. That's it. <laughs> your wife is not your maid. All right. Class is dismissed. This we is your homework. We can't without you. Shush. This chat is really great, but because we never think of that before. I think if we keep up to the decision that we have here, I think that will be perfect. So this will be our family model, clean as you go. With a new family chart and a motto, Cam and Catherine get down to some serious cleaning. Oh, Cam, you are collecting so much junk. Like, do you need this? No. Nah. Christopher and Colbert, on the other hand, have been using their time to indulge their artistic side. Kim's having none of it and is showing the boys how to remove their unwanted masterpiece and suggests a new canvas. Now, children, this is disgraceful. You're too old to be doing this now. I'm going to show you. If you want to draw on something, have fun drawing each other's faces. <laughs> it washes off easily with soapy water and a washcloth. You're not damaging anything. Let's see how artistic you both are. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Stay still for him. Stay still for him. Quite clever, you, you know. Turn around and let's have a look at you both, you boys. Oh, with his glasses, it's gorgeous. Oh! <laughs> What's it look like? <laughs> oh, Bear, stop looking at yourself. Don't be so vain. What point am I making to you boys? Now, I'm going to show you. This is hairspray. Let's loosen it, my love. Let's loosen it. Crayon is extremely hard to get off, and lacquer is very sticky. Lacquer is pulling the crayon off the wall because it's sticky. Now, this was an extremely bad wall. I've gone from here, and it's lovely and clean. This is an awful thing. I promise you'll never do it again. I promise I won't do it again. Good boy. You kept taught me about drawing about walls that it's not good because it takes all our effort to take it out. Even though drawing our faces is not right, we still can wash it, though. It's back to the kitchen for Catherine, where Kim will help her deal with the excess dishes that create Hell's Own Kitchen. And another tidy excuse for not cleaning up. Two sets is utterly sufficient for a family. Only two? Two sets of crockery and the cutlery. And the more we clear out, the quicker you're going to be prepared to use your dishwasher, aren't you? It's true. That's all chipped, isn't it? This is going away, yeah. Come on, I've got a surprise for you. Kim, Catherine, it's time to get rid of the dishes. I hate dishes. Yes, get rid of it. Up, 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 a safety wow. first. I there we go. Safety first. Here. It's out with the old, in with the new. Go, Pa. Wow. OK, let's go. Oh. You know, you're putting years on me. Get in here. Get in the house. No. Years. The Taws are on the road to clean, but it's been a bumpy ride. You have to be a maid. Your wife is not your maid. But Catherine's not getting it either. It's great. I was thinking to use it whenever I don't feel like washing dishes. Just, ha-hoo. 
and then throw it. But Kim isn't ready to throw in the towel, so she gets Catherine cleaning the proper way, starting with the kitchen. Don't put hard food in there. Uh -oh. Come on, stack, stop, just keep me talking. That's one load down, but there's still a few dozen loads to go. When Kim and Mike make the Taws face their mountain of laundry. That laundry pile has been there for a few months. This has gone far enough, all this, hasn't it? Laundry does not belong on the floor. Laundry belongs in a laundry basket. You wonder why you have bugs? Take it to your rooms. At least we've got this floor clear. Watch out for the bugs. Come on, come on. Attack the job. Oh, 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 watch what you're doing. You've got to take his eye out. Watch my hair. We're leaving Mike, you to it. Mike, good boy. Good boy. I can't carry it, Kim. Help me. No. Now Kim uh, teach us how to handle it together, so... I can't do it anymore. I'm going to quit. Kim, I'm quitting. You do my job. Even though Catherine may be struggling, the Taz have been given the tools to tackle the laundry, trap the bugs, divide the chores, and clean the kitchen. But will they be ready for the final challenge? Top family, this is your final challenge. Those floors are going to be so squeaky clean that you're going to be able to have a picnic. You're going to manage to eat a meal off your lounge floor. Now, we taught you the tips. We've shown you what to do. We've given you a fright with the bugs. Now, fill that dumpster. Get out. Come on, I'm coming back. I want everything done, the playroom done. No dishes. The bug's out. Let's party. Shh, stop. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't. You are a chatty Cathy. Oh my God, get in there. 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 Let's help. No, go. 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 go back to work. Go back. I've got to seek a new career. They're putting years on me, you know. I'll say it's not worth it. It's not worth it. The Taws now have their final challenge to turn their house from a bug friendly breeding ground into a home clean enough to eat right off the floors with their family and friends. Cameron and the boys dive right into the challenge. <laughs> Catherine, on the other hand, doesn't even know where to begin in this family-created chaos. I find it's, it's very hard because I don't know where to start. Sometimes I feel like, how to say, crying or whatever because I, I'm just confused. I know Catherine wants to, to help out, but because she doesn't know how or doesn't know where, so that put her in a very difficult situation. Cameron is determined to help his wife, Catherine, focus on the task at hand, the games room. Let's go through the stuff and see what need to keep, what need to go. One of the big jobs will be clearing the clutter by getting rid of what they no longer use. Is this my personality? I never draw things away. The memory on every different age, so we can't keep them all. Oh. Need to go. There's less than a day left, and Cameron desperately wants his house clean for their guests. But Colbert and Christopher are starting to crack under the pressure of their newfound chores. Get back! I'm checking it. Okay, Cole, can you go back to your own room? No! Let's cool them down. Yeah, the boys seem like not uh, participating well. They're just playing along and uh, resting in the room. Yeah, at the moment, I'm disappointed. The Taws are in the middle of their final challenge. They need to turn their bug-infested house into a home clean enough to eat right off the floor. Going along, but uh, looks like still more to come. To get this task done, all of the Taws have to be involved. But right now, the two boys, Christopher and Colbert, have fallen back on old habits. Do you know what to do? So that box, unwanted item here, okay. you're not leaving the room until you finish all of it. Same instruction with, to Colbert. You're not leaving the room until you're done. At least mom is staying the course. Catherine is uh, keeping up very well, and she uh, mainly is in the, uh, in the in the library. I mainly do it in the basement. So, whoa, what's this? That's the boys' uh, day in years. <laughs> With a little encouragement from Dad, the two youngest Taws are back on track. Next will be the stove. The whole family is finally working together, and it's not just the junk leaving the house. The bugs are on their way out as well. Never expected this uh, stressful. It's lots of hard work. And they hope all that hard work has paid off as Kim and Mike and all their family and friends arrive to see the house. Oh my gosh, it's full. The whole house has been emptied into here. Wow. Come on. <laughs> First up, though, 
the Theater of Shame. This is the Taw Family Theater of Shame. We never want you to forget this. Uh, Look at bugs. Oh, More oh, bugs. Oh, 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 Say, horrifying. This would be, oh, this would be your kitchen. What was once a dirty, disgusting kitchen that attracted all sorts of creepy crawlies has become a clean, livable space the Taws will be happy to share a meal in. <laughs> Laundry. It's unbelievable. <laughs> The living room that was once so cluttered with laundry that you couldn't see the floor has become an inviting space fit to entertain friends and family alike. There's your basement. Not much of a playroom. I mean, the basement, formerly a forgotten no man's land of old and unused stuff, has been transformed into rooms Christopher and Colbert can be proud to entertain their friends in. You've done your work. And now do you play? Show off that house. Goodness me. Oh, this Come is... Come in, oh. folks. A oh. fresh, functioning <laughs> kitchen. This is so lovely, it really is. The Taws have passed their final challenge with flying colors. Time to eat right off the floor. Having friends over with a clean house, with organized, that feels great. Everything is done, it's tidy, we can sit back, relax, have a home that we can really invite friends over, relatives over to share. Yeah, so next time you can come all of us over. Yeah. Yeah. He told me you're good. What? Well, well, oh. <laughs> I think me and my brother are going to use the basement more often because it's a welcoming room and we can play ping pong. It's nice to see you two together. Eating on the floor because it's so clean you can. I think your job's done here. It's been lovely meeting this staff. No, stay yeah, there. Stay there. You guys stay. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Thank you very much. much. Thank you. It's been lovely meeting you. Thank you. Bye. Finally, we have a, a clean, tidy home. No more bugs. <laughs>